Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Stan and in this video, I have a very special package I wanna share with you guys today. Uh, this finally arrived after a very, very long time of waiting. Uh, I wanna say I purchased this item back in, at the end of 2019 and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and it's finally here. And if you guys are a fan of The Expanse, then you guys will really want to see this. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. Now, this right here, this started out as a Kickstarter project. It was a Kickstarter for a model, Rossinante, from the TV show and the series The Expanse. Uh, as you can see here, this, uh, the date on the outside here, it's carton number 408 out of like 655, I think I see. And the date code is from September of 2020, and it's from Idea Planet. This was one of the first few officially licensed products from Expanse. And the history of the Expanse is that uh, it was originally a TV show on the sci-fi channel and it eventually got canceled and because of that amazon picked it up and renewed it for gosh it was the fourth fifth and sixth season now um, and it was very surprising that it was well first canceled and then it was even more surprising that it was picked up again and for me it was very very exciting because I've actually read all the books and I am a huge fan of the entire series. And it's really nice to see that the, you know, the show and everything is still going on. So in support of the show and the series, I decided to go ahead and back this project because the model, or at least what they wanted to do was to create this very, very intricate model of the Rocinante. And this thing was almost like $200 just for the model. So on the front here, you can see another little logo of the Expanse. And on the back, you've got Amazon Prime Video. Of course, that's the new home of the Expanse and Idea Planet launch. And inside here, we'll take a look at inside. The Rosinante got some instructions. You also have some foam here. And this foam is actually a little bit special. It's not just any packing foam. It's not something you want to throw away because I can get it out. And on the top here, we've got the Rocinante name and it says a legitimate salvage embossed in the foam. So that's kind of cool. And once we open this thing up. Oh, look at that. This thing's big. Oh my goodness. Got a stand. And then you got all these little little pieces here. Um, and we'll, well, let me take everything out and we'll take a look at all the little pieces and how they fit together. All right, so this right here, this is the entire ship. Uh, of course, it's all made out of plastic, but it's really nicely painted and the details are pretty intricate. And you'll notice here that we've got the landing gear and this landing gear was uh, Re-imaged back in season four. You know, one of the gripes I've got with uh, the show and the differences with the book is that the landing was always a little, little strange. Um, I, I never envisioned it to land, you know, bottom and up. It was always talked about how the walls were the uh, walls were the floors or the ceilings were the floors or, or something like that. Where uh, once it landed, I think on its belly, in the books that everything was turned 90 degrees and it actually didn't land like this, but um, you know, clearly since the TV show had it land with the bottom end here, bottom down, uh, that's what this image or this imagining of the Rocinante is gonna look like. So what we've got are also additional uh, PDCs. We've got these uh, PDC point defense cannons. Uh, we've got two of them here, here, and then probably one of the side PDCs, another side, and here you go. So these PDCs, um, this clearly is a forward facing one. So this is gonna be going here. And this ship, this model, these P 
PDCs are actually magnetic, so they just kind of snap on. So that's really cool. You've got it retracted. You can see here, retracted. And then if you want them out, guns blazing, then it just snaps on like that. Um, should have, should have, maybe this one's right here. I don't know. <laughs> I can get, you can get creative. You can you can have it facing any, every, any which way you want here. And th there's no wrong way because these are what like 360 degree PDC. Oops. So it's all good. Um, now this does have. If I were to retract this here, this does have the ability to take batteries, I think. And inside here, we've got a little door with a screw. And if I take this thing off, it gives me access to these three batteries. There's a switch here somewhere and I have no idea where it is. So I'm gonna have to go look up a manual. Give me one second, let me go find it. Five minutes later, now I found the switch. There's a little switch right here where if you click it, you get this beautiful blue drive cone, uh, little blue LED here with, um, you know, that's kind of a nice cool effect. For, from here, we got a little stand. Oh, huh. <laughs> so that's how that works. We got a little stand here that's also magnetic and it just sticks right on. And I can position this any which way I want. I tighten this or loosen this. I'll check that out. Oh man, that looks so good. So good. So worth it, $200. Yo, yo, it looks so good. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer so you guys can see. Taking a closer look at the ship here, we can see that we've got the torpedo launchers here. We've got a very nice Rossinante logo. I guess this is the communications array with the keel mounted railgun on the bottom and another torpedo launcher. And then you got your PDCs, your swappable PDCs. Uh, this would be, I guess, one of two. Or actually, no, the only main hatch where you enter and exit the ship. Then you got the landing gear down here. I really do like the wires. Um, I guess these are hydraulic wires or control wires. I'm actually not sure. There you go. You could stand by itself. Actually, it's pretty pretty stable. It's not too bad, uh, and there's a little bit of flex in here, I think, just a, just a little bit in there. Overall, this is a very nicely detailed model here. Yeah, it's plastic, but the painting on this is really nicely done, and it really has that effect of uh, the heat shielding armor paneling, whatever you want to call this thing. I like the detail of the little bricks and squares and everything. So what's nice is, you know, with everything retracted, and that doesn't look out of place because you got the uh, PDC door covers and everything. So you can either choose to have it deployed or have it, uh, you know, completely retracted. This, of course, having everything deployed makes it look so much more, um, Menacing, <laughs> guns blazing. There you go, with everything deployed. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're wondering how you can get your hands on one, sorry, <laughs> you guys missed out. Uh, the Kickstarter has been long over, so you really can't get this anymore. But for the 2000 of us who actually did get one, uh, congratulations, and hopefully you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Anyway, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.